you guys contribute largely to crude oil theft and then the nation is losing so much of its wealth. For me, I am not thief. What about those that are using vessels, mother vessels from the ocean, loading? I am just taking a little jerry cans. This is jerry can. For whatever I am seeing there, those are saying this. They are using biro to thief. They are the people even contributing from those bunkery. Our own, this is not bunkery. We are just doing, we are supplying a kerosene to the filling station. No filling station, no place they have kerosene. And the government does not matter. Okay, those people are not thief. Because when the poor man do, they say thief. But when the rich man do, they call embezzlement. I am not thief. I am a businessman. No job. The government has failed us. They have failed us. Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get a lot of videos for our table. We're going to be saying one quickly the review to Una concerning the things we're going to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. As you don't already see one from the introduction, how it be say Niger Delta militant. Those people want to be saying that they do or they refine crude oil in a local way, come aside to review certain things. The reason why it be said they go into the business. And also the reason why EBC Inno will ever fist stop. A lot day after this very one, when EBC will see the review one after the other. The other one up as BC MC Olu or more when EBC he don't do one million of rally for Amebola Tenebon. They don't define her for America. <laughs> All right, you will see a lot for this very broadcast. May you just sit down and relax with us. Honestly, we get a lot to review to you. And uh, before we kick start, one quickly use this medium to beg you of one favor. Help us to like this video. Because now the only way we'll be seeing YouTube will fit help us push this video out to every of our subscribers all over the world. The more this video get likes, the more that they recommend that to people. This one are their policy. Thank you for your understanding. All right. I'll first of all leave you to watch this full video of this very Niger Delta uh, militant. I'll come back for the conclusion. My cameraman fell, but quickly got up to continue his recording. It was just a demonstration of how fire is lit at an illegal refinery site. On this day, the men were not on duty. This day, the men were not on duty, but few are willing to tell their story. I'm a graduate of law. I went to the youth service in North and I came back, there's nothing here. We've been suffering, I got married, there's no money anywhere. So when I see that my friends and my brothers are trying to make money, I have to join them because there's no money anywhere. I am a graduate of engineering. I graduated 1998. I served my youth service at Taco, Taraba State. When I come back, I was suffering. I was a deccan, from the deccan to taxi driver. You see the first men stopping us, taking money from us. That made me, that made me to be very hungry. And later I was hearing, I see people are making money where I come from. Outside people are making money where I come from. I decided there and I come in to my creek and I started doing this business. You guys contribute largely to crude oil theft and then the nation is losing so much of its wealth. For me, I am not thief. What about those that are using vessels, mother vessels from the ocean, loading? I am just taking a little jerry cans. This is jerry can. For whatever I am seeing there, those are saying this. They are using biro to thief. They are the people even contributing from those bunkery. Our own, this is not bunkery. We are just doing, we are supplying uh, kerosene to the filling station. No filling station, no place they have crazy. And the government does not matter. They got the poor people. This is my own property. What about the north? They are doing their gold, doing this. What, they, what will they call those people? Okay, those people are not thief. Because when the poor man do, they say thief. But when the rich man do, they call embezzlement. I am not thief. I am a businessman. The conversation continued as we walked down the narrow footpath of the illegal refinery camp. 
what if the federal government you know makes an attempt to employ you would you quit this job what kind of job do they want to employ me for first this thing i'm doing is okay for me it's okay to my people the people that are giving job now most of them now today they've not paid them our fathers are dead they don't pay them pensioners are dead they've not paid them uh university lecturers they are on strike they want to give me job what kind of is it the job you give me then you not pay me the lecturers are looking for peanut to settle that they will not because their children are outside the country they don't follow the poor people to get to this point the business of refining oil the local way is a dangerous venture are you concerned that this work you're doing could consume your life i know that but i don't have any choice this is where i make my family smile this is where i pay school fees the little little school fees i can pay this is where i feed my mom my dad everybody from so if i have to stop it where will i go to though it's very risky We've lost so many of our friends, brothers, and all that. But today, we are still here. Not that this, what, what we are doing is good for us. It's not good. But we are doing it because we have to make ends meet. You will see sometime it will catch fire. The next, we will still hustle. And come back because I will not go and steal. So it is one day at a time. It is one day at a time. Any day we wake up and we succeeded, we say, God, thank you. Anyone that does not lose his life. You see, most of the graduates are taxi drivers. No job. The government has failed us. They have failed us. We don't care whether we die. Like me, I don't care. Because that is where I survive with my family. Until the government make a genuine provision for we, the Niger Delta people, they will quit. You cannot quit. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you are done listening to that video. We just need to leave this video to play so that all of us will understand the pain of these people and the reason why it be said they engage on this business. If you know they there, you know we feel understand. If you know where they are shoe, you know we feel understand. As you don't hear these two people when they say the interview now, they're not just be touts. They be graduates. People want to be said they spend years for schools, pay school fees, and not be only that, serve the nation. And at the end, what can be the result? They say education, na key to success. And at the end, they get the hope, go to school, believe say if they come outside, their life will be better. But they come back, their life even they worse than the time when they say they don't even venture school. They tell me. May they just fold their arms. They watch their life waste away. This one are the question when they say no human being on earth will feed you. All right. May we leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section concerning that very one as we leave you to watch uh, the warning when they say people, Nigerians, when they did for America, sent across to NC Oluomo when they say a whole rally for Amebola Tinibun last Sunday. Yet the one you want to see the send across to us make no venture enter America again for that singular act when they say it carry out for Amebola Tenable here for yourself. But M. Loma, I have an advice for you. I know that you are an American citizen. Okay. I know that you are an American citizen. Uh, and I'm saying it authoritatively now. Don't come to America. M. Soloma, don't come to America. I think my mom, I think my mom, if you come to America, what you what will happen to you? You won't like it, uh, because that citizenship that you are you owe in America is a privilege, it's not a right, and that citizenship can be withdrawn from you. In a jiffy, they can withdraw that citizenship from you because you are not born in America, so you became an American citizen by nationalization. So don't come to America, I'm so long, mom. Okay. okay, so don't come to America, and I will tell you why you cannot come to America. You cannot be inciting violence in Nigeria. 
you cannot be violent, you cannot be a criminal, and then you now come to America and enjoy the, two, the best of the two worlds. It's not possible. Now, when you are filling your form to become an American citizen, is a questionnaire. They will, they will ask you, have you committed crime before? The answer is, you will tick yes or no. They will ask you, do you, do you belong to any political group? Do you belong to any group that is criminal in nation? Now, if you don't know MC Olomo, N-U-T-R, 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 organization one year, on my one year, organization one Now, that organization that you belong to is a criminal organization. Okay? It's a criminal organization. Maybe more than one year, one year, one so you are a prominent member in NUTR. So then, So that's number one. Then number two. I will make America to find out how you became a citizen. Because there are two ways to can become a citizen in America. It's either by marriage or through um, asylum. So I'm going to make America to investigate how you became a citizen in America. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to make USCIS to investigate how you became a citizen in America. There are two ways. Can become a citizen in America. Is either by marriage, if you marry an American citizen, you become a citizen, okay? Or you claim asylum, or you're a refugee. Let me add the third one. There are two, three ways you can become an American citizen: either by marriage, asylum, or you are you are a refugee. So, and what I will I will I will incite, not even incite. I'm going to write to USCIS to find out how you acquire your citizenship is it by marriage is it by asylum is it by, as a refugee those are the three things they are going to consider and then we want to know whether you, what we, you do what is called marriage of convenience if it is by marriage of convenience take it to the bank you will lose your citizenship if you become an american citizen by, by virtue of marriage of convenience you will lose your citizenship then apart from that apart from that if you're a criminal, you are involved in criminal activities back in your own country, you are going to lose your citizenship. America does not promote violence. And America will not allow a citizen to be violent. So if by virtue of you being an American citizen and you're always promoting violence in a year, you have lost your status as a citizen. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you don't see that very video. And the... Uh, for everything when BC this man explain, Una understand the reason why BC this man they drive this message out. Now the rally when BC MC Oluomo hold last Sunday for Amebola Tenebon. Yes, he considered to be violence when he say you know to where say the party when he say they push forward so say na criminal party and even the candidates when he they push forward. He not get good track record, even in the history of political uh, affairs in Nigeria. And even in all sorts of words, he age, everything when he say he relates to this man. Everything have to do with criminality. And this man still go ahead. The poor crowd, they follow him. And I want to only be say this shocking past not past be say. He be American citizen. And if this country is poor. He get another place to run to for safety. But what about the people when they say they pull along their own side so they also get the right, the privilege to fly anytime when they say things not they go well. Since when they say things not they go well for this country, they get anywhere to run to. You will even see and say this man, so when they, you know, they call and say Olua Mosso, when they pull this crowd, they go so and they really they follow on like zombie. See, ever since, you know, even they inside this country, Nigeria. And this Agbiro uh, club or uh, organization, where basically they collect us for Amebola Tinebunso, 
Na even boys na in the happen the runner or let say it be chairman. The best for America. They enjoy every good thing when they say life get to offer, government get to offer. But come back to your own country, your own base. You know, feel poor crowd to make sure say they choose somebody when they get vision to make this work just like the one would be say they enjoy for America. I pray just as this man come aside now, may God empower this man, make really. Do all those investigations. May they open people like this. Yash. May they return back to this country. May all of us remain for inside this heat where EBC, the thing say now, it be the best thing for any human being to enjoy. All right, my great and wonderful people. Because of time, we know we'll get time to add another video to this, although we still have more. We will reserve on to our next brokers. Pardon us. All right, before we draw the line here, we want to quickly use this medium to appreciate each and every one of you for your time. When you stay with us up to this moment, God Almighty will bless you. And also, the way we visit the help of the share this broadcast, your likes, your comments, all of them, we appreciate them. I bet me not forget to help us share this very one so that we still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe in what they say information, not power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We'd like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.